fish seriously. And these two jokers are both snagged up on wood. There's Gary, Gary all snagged. And Steve. Steve Brand, Gary Price. What they call Team Team Pee Pee. For Pang Prang and Price. Hi fans of TV Land. <laughs> You've seen Steve before. But Gary is uh is his first time around a hunter fish. Yeah, let the comedy show begin. fishing video is about how I make a fishing video. Well, I get asked lots of questions. You know, how did I almost die on Lake Erie? This and that about Heath Wagner and some other great people I've been able to fish with. But I get asked a lot today about how I make my fishing videos. So I'm gonna break into that, dive into that a little bit. Went out in the St. Joe River with Gary Price and Steve Prang. We had a lot of fun. Didn't catch a bunch of fish, caught a couple, but I'm gonna kind of use what we did today to show you what to do. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna load the boat. I'm gonna put my lock and all transit saver on here. I bring them up because they got more than just a transit saver to help me out. That my camera equipment is largely from them. Let me show it to you. Let me put this on. Let me show it to you. So this is called a boat pole by Lock and Hall Transit Saver. Now I've actually got two of them here. Now you can see real quick, but I'm, the way I do this is I actually put one connected to the other and bring it out here. So a lot of my side shots that when I'm fishing by myself, get the angle alongside the boat, comes from these. Now, if I'm fishing by myself, it's kind of handy. Turn around, upside down. And you can see I got my GoPros on here and I can adjust this to come way out like this. And now you can see the unique angle that it gets as I'm fishing up here. If I'm actually by my, it's not use this a lot if I'm fishing by myself to make a video. But if I am fishing with a partner, well, then it gets extra cool because then I can really get personal with it. This is, this is pretty cool. I just grab this, open it. And now I've got a four foot pole myself. It takes about three and a half feet. And I can angle this to get some really cool action right up next to the fish. Making a video is actually a lot of work. Every video I release is anywhere between eight and 14 hours of work. That doesn't include the fishing trip. Number one thing I learned, I kind of learned this hard way, is if you can't have fun, don't do it. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so I always try to go fishing with people I know a little bit. I know I'm gonna have fun. I'm always giggling, laughing, making fun of my friends, and I expect it in return. So that's step one. Am I gonna have fun? Make sure I do. Different angles are always important. You watch any kind of TV show or Netflix movie or go to the movie theater, what's a, a screenshot? Four to five seconds on average. So I try to mix that up a bunch as well. And that's where these products from Lock and Hall really come into play. What's up, Brunel? All those products, by the way, are in the description with links. So if you're interested in making your own video or if, or if you're looking for equipment to consider, check out those links. This is how the two boat poles stick come together. And I, I can adjust this thing up and down and I can swivel it around and make it higher or lower. And that's really, when it comes to my fish videos and get different views, this is it. This is really the most important piece of equipment. I use GoPros. I got a GoPro Hero 5 Black, GoPro Hero 7 Black. And I wish I could spend a couple thousand bucks on some better equipment and some audio, but I, I can't justify those types of purchases yet. Maybe someday. My channel has been growing steadily for the last year and a half, and I appreciate your support and, and watching my videos and liking them and putting comments on it. That always helps me out. My audio is always a big disaster. I mean, the GoPros, they're really tough. They're exceptional for fishermen because they can get wet. 
they can take a pretty good beating which is what I'm going to give them but the challenge is the audio I don't have an external mic connected right now but I'm only about a foot and a half away so I suspect you can hear me just fine but man uh, external mic is super important but yet there's connections probably I have so much nightmares with the audio I really think the only way I can fix that entirely is to get some real expensive equipment uh, some real expensive external mics and if you got a suggestion, put it down in the comments. If you got any suggestions on anything on how to do videos, especially for me or the outdoorsman, please let me know. Put it down in the comments. I'd be happy to see what you use and what you know. Some examples of that audio trouble with the external mic. Oh. I've lost some awesome footage over the last two years from it. Definitely had a blast catching some small mouth bass today. I got some t-shirts coming out in the near future. Stay tuned. Got some pretty awesome merch, apparel, whatever you want to call it, coming soon. So thank you for tuning in. Till the next time, the hunter fish will see you on the water. This is how the power uh, bolt pole works. Okay. Those are our fish. That's what we're trying to catch. Alright, get out of my way. We were actually getting ready to get out of here and we saw on the side imaging some fish over there. Spot locked it and there's victim one. Now we're having some fun on February 2nd. 